Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. This is Dr. Pramil Chariath. Let me introduce myself first. Uh, I work as a chief medical officer, one of the largest medical systems in the United States, also associate professor of medicine um, in one of the biggest medical schools in the United States. We've been doing a series of lectures on herbal medication and its toxicities, and we're going to continue that series today. And we're going to look at a very, very important uh, herbal medicine in the United States called echinacea. Okay, echinacea use, I mean, overall, if you look at the herbal medicine over the world, all over the use of the world, it's been going up tremendously. What is the reason? Most of the people automatically think there is no side effects or there are no complications of taking this medicine. So the whole purpose of today's uh, presentation is it's going to look at the um, echinacea and uh, what are the toxic effects of the herbal medicine echinacea. Okay? Now, when you look at echinacea, it's actually, um, it was developed, I mean, it was used by the American tribes in the United States for several centuries, okay? And um, the, mainly they were using it for, um, like, they, they can put it on the oral application for, like, insect bites, wounds, and all that. They were chewing um, echinacea for, like, throat infections, and they were taking for, like, cough and upper respiratory infections. Um, so they can use, um, you know, for so many purposes they've been using echinacea or drug. Now, when you look at the, uh, what are the, I mean, you know, uh, what are the common um, uses or like what are the benefits of using herbal medicine echinacea? It had immunomodulatory properties or immunostimulating properties. It increased your WBC count, increased phagocytosis, increased the body temperature. And now, you know, for the purpose of this study, we have gone and did like a lot of literature reviews and find out what are the common complications or toxic effects when you take echinacea. Okay, the first study, first study we looked at is published in JAMA. Um, around 408 mm, children, um, they have given the echinacea and compared with the placebo. Uh, it was published in JAMA. Just, let's, let's look at the, what are the complications they found. The most important complication they found in this study is they found there is significant rash and itching in the people who have taken echinacea. There was the other complication, there was hyper behavior, a lot of abdominal symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, uh, all noted in this, uh, um, in this study when they did the study on the children. Okay, the next study uh, for the purpose of uh, looking at the toxic effect of echinacea, again, we went to JAMA, we found the JAMA study looking at the, it was done in the adults, around uh, 128 adults, and uh, they looked at what are the complications reported in that study. The mainly there was like abdominal symptoms they found. They found out like there was funny taste in the mouth, you can have headache, those are the common complaints found um, in that study. Um, when you look at, uh, there was another study published in Austria, Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, in describing all the complications. So we put all those complications together, and um, you know we put it in this slide. Like, what are the complications we can expect taking the drug echinacea? We'll start with the number one. We need to. It can cause like a rash and itchiness, and then it can cause like a lot of abdominal symptoms. It can um, cause like uh, also when you look at the mouth, it can cause like funny taste in the mouth. They can have numbness and tingling of the. Um, uh, of the tongue has been reported. You can have, again, when we talk about abdominal, there are abdominal symptoms, there's abdominal pain, there's nausea, there's like vomiting, there's diarrhea. It can also cause like dizziness, tiredness, headache has been reported like one of the very common. There's like hyper behavior, those symptoms are also um, reported. Um, in this slide, it's the most important slide of the presentation. Um, when we look at the next important thing is uh, what are the current recommendations? Um, the European Herbal um, Committee have recommended not to use uh, echinacea under the age of 12. So we should not be given echinacea of the children with the age under 12. Please do not use it. Okay, and the UK also, the Herbal Committee also uh, decide, uh, recommended against the use of echinacea in children under 12. Um, the other important um, 
uh, the, the important recommendation, you know, what should we do in pregnancy? A pregnant woman can it take, but at this point, um, it's not a good idea. Uh, everybody's recommending against the use of echinacea in pregnant women because we don't know. A lot of the studies about the herbal medicine is not done on our pregnant patients. So at this point, please do not take if you're pregnant echinacea, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another presentation soon. God bless.